Hey yo, it's me Harper Savage here. And last time we used these Mandalama paint markers to create this image. And this time we're gonna be working with the glitter paint markers. Woo, pretty sparkly. So let's get right into it. So I've already swatched these, and as you can see, they're super sparkly in this light. Oh my goodness, I might have to turn that off. But yeah, they're super sparkly. They come with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, navy, purple, dark purple, magenta, and silver. I'm going to compare some of the colors to the original set that we used. Here's that brown that I lost, by the way. I think that the orange and the orange match and the red and the red match. Now, I complained in the other video that they didn't have a pure yellow and this is definitely a pure yellow. Oh my gosh, it's so sparkly. <laughs> I might have to turn that light down. Uh, I don't think the green matches either of the greens we have there. It's just a regular green and this is considered dark green. The bright blue and the blue do not match. Um, so. They are capable of creating colors that are different, like more traditional colors, like the traditional rainbow, in my opinion. And they also have navy, and they don't have anything that matches that. This purple does not match that purple, though. I will say that. This is a bit more of a reddish purple, and this more a bluish purple. Then they have dark purple and magenta, and the magentas don't match at all. This is more purpley, this is more pink. And then silver, and you know, silver is hard to judge, so one's metallic and one's glittery. As you can see from it blaring out the image, it's super sparkly, and I can't wait to create something with them. So let's do that now. I'm gonna have this off to the side. I actually want to go ahead and experiment a little bit before we get into the actual drawing here. I'm going to see if it'll layer because I'm curious to see how it'll work. Now you did see that it had a pure color here. I thought maybe it was just the glitter was a color and the, the marker itself wasn't a color. Type of deal like this would be a layering thing, but I want to see how well it goes over a color that's already laid down. So I'm just going to choose yellow or this yellow orange, I should say. I didn't shake or anything. But this is also going to be a good test to see, like, how they are after, you know, first time use. They will need a little bit of shaking, I think, but I am storing mine in the not correct position. All right, I believe it is all dry now. And because I think it's going to be an issue, I'm actually going to elevate this a little bit. I tried turning down my light and it did not change how sparkly and glittery <laughs> this looked so i'm hoping having it at an angle will help maybe not maybe not at all oh boy maybe this is just the wrong angle let's try a different one um that's a little bit more clear i guess we'll go ahead with this all right so this should be dry now let's go ahead and pull this closer to us i did try to turn my light off but then you'd see like my webcam itself creates a shadow, so you'd see like a shadow right here. No, I can't turn off the light, unfortunately. All right, I'm gonna grab like a color that's nothing like the yellowy orange I picked. Go ahead and pick this blue color if I can get it out of packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a pump and you know, prove it works right there. All right, so let's see how it layers. Actually, that looks pretty good and solid. Maybe I should try a lighter color, see how solid it actually looks. Now I did color yellow, so I'm not really sure what's lighter than yellow. Well, yellow orange or whatever they're calling it. Not pure yellow. All right, I'm just gonna take these out of the packaging. We don't need it anymore. Make sure there's no secret markers in there like last time. All right, I'm gonna try the silver because I think the silver was the weakest out of the colors. There we go, that's, that's, yeah. I can see it being a little bit of an issue layering certain colors. 
but it might be the effect you want like having silver sparkles over some other color like i think it might work well over blue because the silver is a little bit of the blue side yeah there's my test and now i'm going to create some artwork with this newfound knowledge yes i wasted a whole page doing that it's fine So I think I'm actually going to make a shooting star. I don't know where I got that idea from, but that's what I want to do. Let's hope I know how to draw a star. Oh my god, you can't see what I'm doing. Alright, so I did my best. You can kind of see a little bit of a shadow here. But I turned on the light the best that I could. I'm actually um, gonna attempt... Will make this star good. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Uh oh. I may have made a mistake. Oh gosh, look at <laughs> Oh no. Move this up. See if that helps a little bit. Kinda. Just gonna color it in, pretend like it's okay. Now I'm not sure if you've noticed, but all the sparkles or glitter as the pens are called are the same color. These are all silver sparkles and glitters, but the ink itself is the color. Which may be something you need to keep in mind if that's not what you were expecting. She was standing on my swatch seat. Now there's like a dent in it. Now something I didn't talk about before is how long it takes to dry because it was like seconds. Um, I would say maybe at most it was a minute. But it also depends on, like, you know, if you have a window open, your fans on, all that jazz. If you, you know, fan it, blow on it. What type of, like, situation you're in, if you're in a humid house or an outside humid house. So you can see some streaks and stuff. Uh, I'm hoping that'll go away with another layer. But I'm gonna <laughs> try to make this not look so weird. I try being the key word. To even it out a little bit maybe not make it so flower like like put on some weight there star come on man all right that's not totally awful <laughs> still not my best star but you know it's workable it's workable i said i wanted to do a shooting star so we got to pick some colors to be the shooty part um <laughs> oh boy these ones do not have their names written on them which i find very odd because these ones do like they should have just written the names on them so i don't know where i got these color names from then did i just imagine them they look them up did the box have them no the box doesn't have them so i don't know where i got these names i guess i was basing it off of the barrel color now that i now that i'm thinking about it i think i base it off of if their barrel matched the other set because these purples are very close Okay, I'm just gonna offend the rainbow gods and not have them in order anymore. <laughs> fine, fine. Alright, I'm gonna do some cool stuff, I guess. I don't know. Just thinking about a loop de loop. Uh I might be regretting it. But we'll see. Kinda doing like a generalized outline of where I want this color to be. The blue is so juicy. Oh my goodness. So this is where the lines are for right now. We'll see if I want to modify it at all. Just now just gonna wait for it to dry for a few seconds here before I start coloring and smudging it everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna start coloring now. Just be careful of that blue. That blue is super juicy. Like super juicy. I do like this color. I wish you guys could see it from my angle. I don't know why I didn't set up a second camera for this video. I just now thought about it. I definitely had a second angle for the first one, so I don't know why I didn't do that for this one. Probably would have been better for this one because of all the glitter and stuff everywhere. I'll just kind of lean it. We're a bit too far into the video now for me to pull it out, you know. The batteries are probably dead anyways. Memory's probably full. You know, all the 
terrible things that happen when you are not prepared. This is coloring it pretty smoothly. Like there are some streaks from certain angles, but look at that. Look at how nice it looks from this angle. <laughs> not from my angle does it look nice though. Put this here so we don't color on to another page by accident. As if I didn't already waste a page by doing a test earlier. It's okay, maybe we'll make some beautiful art with it some other day. I will say that these are pretty juicy so far, that like the three, the four, the couple that I've been using today are pretty juicy. Uh, I do keep occasionally pumping just because uh, the more paint I have, the less streaky it looks type of deal. But again, that's from my angle. Like, you guys don't see the streaks. I do. I see them all. I don't know why I had to make it curve like this. Make it difficult on myself? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. And this blue is so juicy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is what layer one looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put in another layer. So this yellow color does not go over the other colors very well. They're actually kind of smudging the other ones, but they're not completely dry yet. So for your working with the yellow, you should probably use it first and make sure it's perfect. So like putting another layer didn't really do anything for the streakiness. I could still see all the streaks. Um, I'm going to try it the other colors too, just to make sure it's not just the yellow. But so far, I'm gonna think that putting another layer isn't gonna matter. Yeah, I'm gonna say that like doing it in layers is not gonna matter. Um, I'm gonna like try a circular motion. That does not matter either. So I am gonna say that if you're like looking to use these for a full art piece, that's probably not the best idea. Unless the streaks are like the style you're going for. Now I can actually see a difference between like the second coat and the first coat for this color, but I can't really for the yellow and kind of not really for this one. This one just looks more streaky right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put another layer on the purple here. Now because the blue is so much more juicy, I am seeing some of the streaks go away with a second layer. But because most of the markers seem to not be this juicy, uh, I'm going to say that the second layer definitely is not necessary for most of the markers. I think maybe if like you give them to your kids, like these are our kids product, that they'll be happy with them for like a full art project. But as someone in their almost 30s, I'm going to say that this is not what I would use if I wanted a full glitter piece. I personally don't think I will ever have a full glitter piece, you know, on purpose, other than this video. Well, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna do like some like finishing details and then we'll talk about it. So I went ahead and colored the background black because I wanted to see it's not like the best, like you can see streaks and stuff. I wanted to see if it would go over the glitter, and it does, but I only did the edges, like I touched up the edges a little bit to see if it would color over the glitter, and it, it worked out pretty well. I can barely see any of the glitter coming through. Um, I didn't really uh, touch up the edges that well, as you can see by this one. Um, but this is mostly an experiment page. Anyways, so I'm not too worried about it looking that great. But I guess my final thoughts are... Will these work for a full art piece? I don't recommend it, but I also wouldn't do that anyways with just glitter, glitter pens and stuff. But that's me. That's like not, that's not my taste or that's not my style, like I should, I should say, where I would just do a full glitter piece. I just did it for this one to, you know, show you guys how it works and stuff and what it looks like. And I got marker all over me. Huh? Yeah, you can see the streaks from this angle. From the upward view, it just looks sparkly. And you are not going to see it like this normally. So if you're looking for something this spectacularly bright, 
Uh, this is not it. This is really not it. It doesn't really look like that. It looks more like this from my angle. So if you're expecting bright sparkliness, don't think that you're going to see it from every angle. That's just the nature of glitter. It's, it doesn't work like that. Um, it doesn't overlay the other colors very well. If it's a lighter color, yeah, like it kind of worked with the yellow when I had yellow streaks in here when I messed up from my star earlier. Overall, I do think it's a cool product and worth checking out, especially if they're within your price point. This set cost $10. That's it, right? Yeah. This set cost $10. The bigger non-glitter set cost $20. It is a very good price. This does not belong in that set. Don't get confused. There is no black in the set. But yeah, I think they're fun and I'm definitely going to use them for like adding some glitter to some pages here and there, but definitely not as a full art piece. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this product in the comments below. Don't forget to do all the cool YouTube things of comment, liking, and subscribing. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye bye!